So I recently saw these campaign images online from Burger King and I thought it was fantastic. It really grabbed my attention. So I'm going to try to recreate it in Canva, but then I'm also going to step away from the static version and try to animate it a little bit. So see if we can use it for social media, web banners, or maybe displays in your store. So you know exactly how to do this all the way from scratch. So let's start and see how we do it. And we're starting from Canva from a blank slide. I'm using the A2 poster format if you want to follow along. First thing I want to do is I want to change the background color and go to a yellow and use like a very light yellow, maybe a bit more orange. So we have that beige effect. That's what we want. Then I'm going to add the words to the slide. So type in text and here we type in double the first word and increase it so it almost touches both sides of the slide. Now you can see if you use this font and even if you change it to a red color, so we're going to change it to a dark red tone, it still feels a bit odd. It feels like very modern, techy, and it doesn't really fit that food brand. So we're going to change the font and go for ITC. And I'm using that ITC Mother Corpus Condensed. So this is the font that I want to use. It's condensed, it's easy to read, it has those curved edges a little bit, which makes it fit that food brand very well. Then I'm going to copy it. And on the bottom one, I'm going to type in cheese. And then you can do two things. Either you can scale it up so the font is a bit larger, or you can go to text effects and then set the line spacing just a little bit wider so that the fonts nicely match. So I think 32 will fit nicely and everything sort of fits perfectly on the slide. So that's what you can do. Then I'm going to duplicate that two more times, just like this. And then we scale everything nicely so that we have equal space on the sides. So I think this is the start version. Now we're going to add that image to the slide. So I'm going to drag in the image and this is our burger. Now, how do we get it to that sort of nice cutout with the outline effect in the text? We're going to remove the background so we have only the burger, just like this. I'm going to leave a little bit of space around it and make it a bit larger in the center. Now this is already starting to look like it, but it's very messy with that image and the text in the background. So what the original one did is it created that outline around the image. So we're going to select the image, go to edit, go to shadows, outline, and here we can choose the same color as the background. So if we go back to the background, we can select that and then copy this FFDDAA. And then we're going to background outline again. And here we're going to copy that. So we have the same outline. Then we increase the size, not too much, just a little bit. So let's say 45 points. And then you can choose intensity. I want to have it full on, so it's the outline. Now, if we zoom into the poster, this is already looking closer to the result. But what I have here is these odd shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the burger in size so that it nicely covers up those yeah, inaccuracies, those little weird parts. So I don't want that. So that is the first poster. Now we have the option to go for the second one. And I'm going to use the same burger. You can do the same process with a different image as well. I'm going to change the background to the dark one and then change all of the fonts in one go to this one. But I think this one was called triple. So you can either select it like this, change everything as well. And then I'm going to set the spacing a bit more to like 75 ish. And if that's good, you can just on the other one. So use that copy format and adjust it like this. Now, of course, the outline itself looks a bit weird. It now blends in with the text. So we want to grab the color code for the font or for the background color. So select that DD1B1A, go to edit shadows outline. And then here we press enter on that. And also we adjust a little bit so that we cover up any inefficiencies. You can make it smaller or you can make it larger. Just make sure that one remains visible. So we have the triple cheese and then cheese at the bottom that remains visible. You can always reposition it a bit. So it's sort of finding that sweet spot of where you want to put the content. But I think this here looks about right. And if we then go to print it to Canva, we can see what this poster would look like. And I think in real life scenarios, this looks actually quite cool. So it's a pretty cool campaign image I could use to get the attention. Also for the other one, the light version, I think it works very well, has a bit of that retro design to it, very nice image, and then the text adding for some intrigue on the slide as well. And I'm already pretty happy with how these turned out. So 
I think we came very close to the original result. And if you look at the other one as well, I think this one works perfectly. Of course, I used the same picture for the burger. You can add an extra button if you want. That is no problem. You just use your own pictures. But this is how you would create these static images. Now I'm very curious because now we're working with these static images, but I think we can also animate it and make it really come to life and use it for social media, for display banners, wherever you want to use it on the screen. So let's try and see what we can do with that. So here I'm going to copy in the original one and then select all of the text elements and scale them down. Of course, deselect the burger and select all of the elements here and bring it down. I'm also going to scale the burger down just a little bit, just like this. Now drag it in front and we're going to apply the match and move. And then a duration of, I think, two seconds might work. So let's see what that looks like. This already looks pretty cool. It's not perfect yet, so I'm going to try that once more with the others. Don't overdo it on the scaling. So let's see if we can maybe do it the reverse way. That we start from a large burger and then go for a smaller one. Yeah, I think that's the one that we need. So let's see what this looks like. Maybe let's do the same for the other. So let's do that one again. First one here, deselect the burger, make it a bit smaller and then make this one larger. Put it to the front and also here, match and move with around 1.8 seconds. So here we can see the original burger and then as soon as we have that animation, everything flies out. We get that word effect coming into the screen, which I think is pretty cool. And the same happens, happens with the inverse. So the dark one, the large image, and then we have the triple cheese. I think that's a pretty cool effect. So you see with a few simple tweaks, you can actually create a very nice result using the same designs. And then you have like multiple use cases for your designs. So thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you like this design. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see something different next time. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to watch the video on the screen right now.